Welcome back. In this video, you'll learn how to set up the Gboard, also known as the Google Keyboard, on your iPhone 11. So the first step is to install it. And to do that, go to the App Store and use the search function and type in Gboard. Tap on it when it's listed in the search results and then select Get if it's your first time installing it. Once you've selected Get, you'll need to confirm using your Apple ID password or you can just confirm using Face ID if you have it set up. So once you've done that, simply wait for the installation to complete itself. Once complete, tap on Open to launch it. So from here, you'll need to go through the setup process of adding Gboard onto your phone. So tap on Get Started and then you'll see these instructions on how to enable Gboard on your iPhone. So tap on Get Started and it will redirect you to the Gboard app settings. Then from here, tap on Keyboards and then ensure that Gboard has been enabled. Then you also want to give it full access to your device and then Allow. Then from there, you want to now go back to your Gboard app. So from here, you'll now need to switch to the Gboard. And to do that, simply long press on the globe icon and then select Gboard from the options that you're given. And once you've done that, you've switched to the Gboard. So now it's your new keyboard that you're going to be typing with. So once you've finished that, tap on Got It to finish the setup process. So now you have all these options that you can use to customize the Gboard on your iPhone. You can also start using the Gboard immediately to start typing. Say for example, you want to type out a new note, then you'll be using the Gboard for your typing needs. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.